Do you know what's in your tap water? Well, I don't know. But some people like RFK have said there's endocrine disruptors. I don't even know what that is. In your tap water. Andrew Huberman says it's bad. I don't know. There's a lot of people saying not good stuff about our tap water. Well, me and Simpure teamed up. And I got a video. You could put one of these systems in. No tank. Doesn't take up a lot of space. Look at all the wife's cleaning supplies. Ooh, I might get canceled. But anyways, I'll show you how to put it in. Let's go. All right, let's give a little quick breakdown of what you get in the kit. You got the main assembly. Here's your UV filter, your plug. This is obviously where all your filters are going to go. And look at that. It makes it nice and simple. ALK, RO, all go. You just twist them in. Boom. Your tubing. Straightforward. Look at that. They even got it matching. Blue dot, blue hose. Duh! Got all the valve, your drain thing, your little couplers to connect all the hoses. 304 stainless steel. Very nice. I like. So, let's do what I do best and let's put it in. That's what she said. All right, the first thing we're going to do here is figure out where you're going to put it. The dimensions are 15 and a half inches wide and you'll need 15 inches of height clearance. There's a lot of stuff going on under my sink, so this is the wall I'm putting it. As you can see, I just took a level, drew a straight line, and then I measured over on the bracket to see that the first screw was three inches over. This sticker comes with the kit. Put it where your mark is, and then put the two screws in that are going to hold the whole assembly. All right, let's put these filters on. Simpure makes it pretty easy. Take these tops off. Open, close. The big old assembly. ALK, ALK. Push it on. And you got on backwards. There you go. And repeat. Carbon. I don't know what that does. Not a scientist, just a handyman. Melt blown sediment. PP. Nobody wants to pee pee on their water. There you go. You got your assembly. Now you're going to take this whole assembly and you're going to mount it onto the two screws we put in earlier. Now on to the trickiest part. You got to drill into your sink. Might be easy for some, but I got this porcelain cast iron Kohler sink. It's probably from the 70s. Gave me a little trouble, but pick your weapon. Shouldn't have a problem. Pro tip here, you're going to need a diamond bit depending on your sink surface. It only needs to be a half inch. My bit was a little big, but it worked. She never said that. Now you just take the faucet, slide it down, make sure you got that washer on there. This was a fun one to film. You're just going to take that other washer and the nut, just tighten it up to your sink. Then you're going to take the plastic coupling and the outlet hose, which is a blue, and you're going to connect it to the faucet. All you got to do is push the line into the coupler. Then you're going to take the coupler and push it onto the faucet. Pretty simple. Once you've done that, you can go over to the main unit. You take your blue hose. Where the blue sticker is, push it down. Now on to the most exhilarating part. Eh, not really. Just make sure you turn off your water before you put in the inlet valve. It does come in the kit. This was an absolute nightmare for me. I don't know how old these hoses are, but just like everything in this house. Super old, didn't want to work properly, made a mess. But here's that valve I was talking about. Pretty simple. Make sure you got the O-ring on there. You could put Teflon tape if you wanted to, but I didn't have any leaks. 
Then you're going to take your inlet hose, which is the white one, stick it on there, tighten it down, take the other end and put it into the push connect fitting right here. These fittings. Here we go. On to the last hose, the red one, the wastewater. You're going to attach this to your drain somewhere. I believe that it's inch and a quarter. First, you're going to drill a hole. Then you'll put that sticker on, then screw in this mount, tighten it up, push in your red hose to the drain piece, then to your assembly. Bada boom, bada boing. Turn the water on, plug her in. It's ready to go. Per the instructions, let her run for about 20 minutes. Give a huge shout out to SimPure for sending me out this system. I'll put the link in the description. Definitely a game changer if you're a water snob like myself. Or if you're worried that your water's going to do something to you. Definitely worth the investment. All right, what kind of reverse osmosis install video would it be if I didn't test the water? And since this is the T1400 alkaline, let's test the pH. And I'll test the TDS, which is total dissolved solids. I'm learning stuff here. But first, pH. Let's get some water. We're going tap first. Well, this isn't tap. No! This is the, the grand finale here. Alkaline special. Bear's cup. Uh, I don't know, flower whiskey glass, tap. And we'll run over to the fridge and see what that does. The fridge is the slowest thing ever. Main reason I wanted to get one of these reverse osmosis system. Takes forever to fill. Still filling, not even full cup, but it's good enough. All right, so we got our three specimens. We got this uh, Vivo Sun pH tester calibrated. Did it earlier. Let's see where we're at. Now I'm going to zoom in on the cups because you don't need to see my ugly face anymore. Stay. Right there. There we go. All right, so where should we start? I think the tap water, that would be the original. So it's looking like we're at, hmm, it's going down. Seven, eight, seven, yeah, seven, eight, seven, seven. Uh, EPA says above six, six, I believe. Let's go over to the fridge water. Little on the Nintendo blow. Shouldn't be any different. Yeah, 7-7. Seven, seven. The moment you've all been waiting for. The alkaline water. Oh, boom, boom, boom. 9-8. That's what you get in them fancy bottles. Nine nine. Nine nine. Nine nine. 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 Now we're talking some alkaline. Now let's switch over and we'll hit up them total dissolved solids. Check it for heavy metals and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Do your own research on water. I'm just spitting facts of what this thing does. So we got the TDS here. Comes in a kit. I'll link, put the link in the description. Tap water, 149, bridge water, a little better, 107, alkaline water, 54, whoa, we got a, oh, there we go, hold on, we had a little pause, 55, better, and let me tell you, it is smooth like a baby's bottom so as you can see the sim pure definitely makes a huge difference definitely go cop yourself one definitely not mid as the kids are saying 
I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for SimPure for sending me out this. I am a water snob, and let me tell you, game changer. So go and get you one. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like, and ring the bell! Peace. Thank <laughs> you.